Okay, you're up. Hello, I'm Cassandra Scott. And um, I have a couple of different questions in different areas. Um, but um, as far as what you had said about having the in annual inspections, isn't it a fact that you guys didn't actually pass those in inspections and that you were only used for interim use at this point, even, even today, that the dam is only a, a license for interim use? So well, you guys I aren't think, even actually licensed to do what you're doing right now. No, I think I'll let Kevin. I can take that question, Kevin Nasi again. Um, no, we have been doing the inspections every um, every year. Yes, I understand, but they weather. didn't pass, isn't so that correct? So would you no, let Kevin no, finish his, yeah. his answer? No, they they passed inspect all the inspections um, were the uh, end result was the facilities were deemed safe for or appeared to be safe for use. For interim use, what does that mean? What is interim no, no, use? I didn't say so, interim. Cassandra, I, I read, I'm sorry. I read every single inspection for every year that you guys had it, and I've researched it extensively. Every single report that was put out about your inspections. So I'm curious what interim use means. I don't, I don't know what that means. Well, interim use means until something else happens, but I don't know what. I, I don't, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Okay, um, um, here, let me, let me be more specific. Well, well let's let's see if. I mean, if, if you want to sit down and go over the, the reports and the actual language with someone from the department, I'm sure that's something that, that could be arranged. Let her I'm going to let her finish. I just want to take this piece of it and not let it just... Okay, for an example, in 2016, the, um, the dam was approved for pending, um, just for interim use, pending on completion of an outstanding, I don't know what the DOS uh, OD is and, and FERC, uh, or FERC, um, because there was uh, a structural um, manufacturing defects in, uh, um, when was the day, uh, was for the high uh, power plant, the, the outlet valves, uh, was that completed? Yes. Okay, so, the so those are the, that's what I'm talking about as far as, and, and then there was existing cracks um, in the joints at the Hyatt, uh, in the joints, cracks and joints at the Hyatt power plant, and um, and I was wondering what um, what has been done to fix that, if, if any. As far as the river valves, yeah, they were tested yesterday. Actually, they were they were operational before this event, and um, they got damaged because of the flood. The waters backed up from the diversion pool, the sediment the diversion pool, so they were out of commission again. But they were retested yesterday and um, passed passed the tests and are fully operational now. Okay, um, and then um, as far as the um, expert. Um, the ghost. Um, it's a known fact from historical um, uh, d dam failures that number one cause is from overtopping and then from erosion is second and third would be from piping or seepage. Now there's plenty of seepage that we are all aware of um, and I'm wondering what's being done to minimize this because seepage causes erosion of course and then these are major dam failures in history um, and that's why they're there so we can learn from them. So um, what, is, what, what is being done to fix these issues along uh, with the spillway? Because those seem to be pr just as important to me um, to be, be fixed for the structural, the structural integrity of the dam. I'll let. Yeah, I was going to jump in. Yeah, I'll let. Okay. Um, well, thank you for the question. And this, this gets back to the green spot that, that uh, Jeannie was speaking to earlier. Um, we, like she mentioned, that, that seepage, that wet spot was observed during construction and it showed up before the lake was there and it's tied, it occurred after the rains. And that outer portion of the